Now we begin with a very visible oil slick in Elliott Bay, capturing the attention of people in downtown Seattle. Good evening. I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. It turns out a fireboat is responsible. Cairo 7's Graham Johnson is live along the waterfront where booms are out to contain the spill. And Graham, how much oil are we talking about here? Well, not that much, and it's really amazing here, Steve. I want to show you, you can see the booms right here from the fireboat Leshai. The fire department put out the first booms, and now cleanup contractors are at work. The Coast Guard estimates only several gallons spilled, but the sheen today was visible all along the waterfront. From Chopper 7, it looks bad. An oil sheen extends all along the Seattle waterfront with another wide slick out in Elliott Bay. So it wasn't alerting to us. From a high rise condo, Jeannie Bender, Heidi Spidell, and Diane Mayer reported this bill to the Coast Guard and to us. And we noticed this rainbow colored water. And we thought, oh, that looks really pretty. And then all of a sudden I said, wait a minute, that's not water. I think it's an oil slick. The Seattle Fire Department tells us the crew of the fireboat Leshai discovered leaking waste oil around 8 a.m. Uh, it's a very small amount. They jumped into action very quickly. They notified the appropriate agencies and they immediately put out a containment boom and an absorbent boom. A contractor hired by the fire department is recovering the oil that can be recovered. The wider sheen that's so visible is not recoverable, but will dissipate. The city's oil spill experts work for for Seattle like Public like Utilities, like they tell us it only takes a quarter of a quart of oil to create an acre of sheen. That explains the size of the sheen from a spill the Coast Guard quantifies like this. Several gallons. Again, every spill matters to us, no matter how large or small. Now, the sheen was especially visible out here today because there wasn't much wind. The fire department has not detailed how this spill happened, only to say it is under investigation. But state environmental officials tell me a water intake valve was left open on the Leshai. That allowed water to fill into the oil water separator, which pushed waste oil out onto the deck and into the bay. Live in Seattle, Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News. Well, as Graham mentioned, Seattle Public Utilities staffs a spill response team to clean up threats to the drainage system and the environment. The agency also has steps in case you cause a spill. First, report it. Seattle City Code requires spills to be reported within 24 hours of discovery. Provide as many details as possible, including what and how much spilled. And finally, employ your spill plan. Most businesses in Seattle are required to have a spill plan and a spill kit.